Hey, my friends, it's Miss Alexander, and today we're working on Module 3, Lesson 27 of Engage New York. Our objective to solve and is to represent and solve three-digit dividend division with divisors of 2, 3, 4, and 5 numerically. Let's quick look at our vocabulary words. We have division, remainder, dividend, divisor, quotient, and long division. These are the, div the vocabulary words we're worried about for today. Go ahead and pause and study. And once you're ready, we will move on. Here we go. We're going to go to the steps of division. So it's really important we follow the steps. The first thing we have to do is ask ourselves, how many times does the divisor go into the dividend? So remember, on the outside of the division sign is our divisor. On the inside of our division sign is the dividend. You do this by doing repeated addition and working with one or two digits of the dividend one time. So if we look at this one over here, we take the four first from 400 and we see how many times we can pull out 32. And we see that we can't pull any out. So we put a zero as a placeholder because we don't have anything for that place and put it zero. Four minus zero is four. And then we bring down our eight. So remember, we're going to divide. In order to do that, we need to multiply, subtract, and bring down. So now we're going to look at 48. Can 32, our divisor, go into our dividend now of 48? Yes, and we see that it goes in one time. So above the 8 and from our dividend, our original dividend, we put a 1 in the quotient and our answer on the top. So we do four, 1 times 32. That's 42 minus 32. That gives us 16. Once we subtract, we bring down. We have one more number we got to bring down, and that's at 7. Now we look at 32. How many times does it go into 167? We got to get as close as possible, and we see that it's 5. 5 times 32 gives us 160. We subtract. I have no more numbers to bring down, and 7 is smaller than 32, so we get a remainder. So right here tells you everything you need to do in word form of what I've just told you. So if you need to read the word form, go ahead. Let me quick scroll up just a little. You can go ahead and pause the video, and then you can read it and practice and do what you need to so that you are successful with division. We're going to keep moving on. Here is our example. We have 346 divided by 2, you guys. I'm going to actually make this just a little. No, we better leave it alone. So right here, the 2 is our divisor. So I'm going to put it in our divisor spot. And then 346 is our dividend. Remember, I've created these boxes so that you can put one digit in each box. So being we're dealing with 2, we need to write our facts out. So I'm going to jump over here into our scribble of our facts. There's a couple ways you can do this. You could scribble it, or you could write it, use text box, and write it out. Right now, I'm going to hit the text box to show you how it looks like if you write it out. I'm just going to go like this. And then right now, I'm going to pick what I want. Because Mrs. Alexander is just funny that way sometimes. She's even going to change the color on you guys. She's going to go with an orange. So I'm going to do two times one equals two. Do you see how I've made it where it's two lines? So all I'm going to do is stretch my box out. And then right here, I'm going to hit enter. Two times two equal four. Two times three equals six. Two times four equals eight. 2 times 5 equals 10. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 times 7 equals 14. 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 times 9 equals 18. Now my question is, do I have to go to 10? And if I remember what I've taught you guys and what you guys have learned, when we divide, we deal with one digit at a time. So I don't need any double digits. So you could write your facts this way. Or if you know your facts, 
you can always do this. Oh, let me go ahead and change this the way I want. I'm gonna actually use the blue so you can see the difference. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So if I understand my facts already, I could just write the facts out instead of having multiply. But if I don't know my multiplication tables correctly, I wanna type them out so I can see it better. I'm gonna hit save and close. I might need to make it a little bigger. So all I'm gonna do is make it bigger like that. You see how it came up just a little bigger? Now I wanna look at my divisor, which is my two, and see how many times it'll go into three. So I come over here and I see that two times one is two and two times two is four. So how many times can I get two out of three? And I see that four is bigger than three. So we're gonna go one. So above my three, I'm gonna put a one in the quotient. I'm gonna do one times two to give me two. So right here in this corner, I don't know if I can do it. We're gonna put a multiplication sign to remind us this is where we're multiplying. So one times two is two. And I do three minus two to give me one. And once I subtract, I bring it down. I don't bring down both numbers. I just bring down the one. So two goes into 14 how many times? So I'm looking for a new digit to go right here. So I'm gonna go over here and see if I have a 14. I see I have a 14 and I see that it's two times seven. So I have the two here. So right here, I'm gonna do seven times two to give me 14. 14 minus 14 is zero. And look, you guys, I have another number. We've been doing double digits. We're now triple digits. So we've got to bring this third number down. See how we brought the four down? We do the same thing to the six. Now I look at this two and see how many times it goes into six. So I go over my facts, two, four, six, and I see that it's three times. So above the dividend six in the quotient, I write a three. Three times two is six. Six minus six is zero. Here is our first one. And then what I'd like you to do is practice your multiplication. So we're going to do 173 times two. So I'm going to jump in to check my work. This is where I'm going to scribble. We have 172. And I need to multiply it by two because we divided. Now we got to multiply. Two times four. I'm sorry. Two times two is four. I jumped the gun there, you guys, that's okay. Two times seven is 14. So I drop my four and I carry my two. You guys, I think I might've done this wrong. Let me go check. It's 173. Let's jump back in and fix that. So I'm gonna quick take my arrow and quick delete a lot of this because Miss Alexander kind of messed up right there. So now I'm going to go back to my scribble. It's 173, you guys. I apologize. I made a mistake. I forgot. So let's try it now. Two times three is six. Two times seven is 14. So I drop my four and then I carry my run. Remember, I put a plus sign in front of the one to remind me I have to add it after I multiply. Now I do two times one is two plus one is three. Was my original number 346? Well, I can't seem to remember, but I can hit save and close and we can see. And look, it is. So right here, we can write 173 is our answer. As you're going through this, take your time. Make sure to have fun with this. And remember to always smile, giggle, and wiggle. I'll talk to you later. Bye.